Um, so we just wanted to quickly run through how you guys can issue badges. Um, so when you log into Credly, what you'll do is go to Give Credit. And actually, what you want to do is choose Existing Credit. I'm sorry. Um, and you should see under this Created tab here, you should just see the ones that you're assigned and able to give out. Um, but sometimes it'll take you straight to the earned. What you want to do is go to the created. And if you can't for some reason see them, you want to go ahead and drop down to the authorized. Um, and then just hit give. This is really very simple. And then you can do a couple of different things. I, I don't have a CSV file to, to do manual or to upload quickly, but you can do a, a large number of um, credit shares that way, or you can just add add people manually, which is what I'm going to do. And since the person I want to give credit to first is Brenda, I'm going to go ahead and put in her name. And her email address. And Brenda, really quickly, am I giving it to, which email address do you want me to send this to? Yeah, Parade Inc. Right. Parade Inc. Okay, at Gmail, right? Okay. All right. And then you can do up to five at a time with this um, manual session. But I'm just going to go ahead and do this really quickly. And I'm going to say yes. And now, and there she is. Um, so she, she should have received it, or it should be getting an email any second now. Um, are you, do you want to go ahead and show them what it looks like from the student's end, Brenda? From the student's okay. end. So I'm going to go ahead and make you present her. Yay. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, so what will happen for your students is that you will end up having, as soon as my Google comes up, <clears throat> The students will actually get emails you can see on the screen of Colorado Community College's LMS proficiency. They'll click on it. It tells them everything that they'll save and share. So you're going to save it. And they'll thing that actually says they have to accept the actual um, badge. So even though they click on the link, they still need to actually scroll down and say save and accept. And then the fact that they can share everything visible and then trust the issuer. I don't know if I trust Katie, but we'll accept it. Here it is. See, it popped up that, that I have the back cell there, and so I can also accept it here. Did it? I go to my earn, then I can actually, this is a step that your students actually need to they can either have it visible to everyone or they can actually discard it. If they discard it, you actually have to actually um, issue it again because it won't actually take it for the second time. But they can actually share it out and they can share it to say my LinkedIn account and I'm going to add it to my and if you haven't actually signed in something that says actually can you do you want to add this to your profile add your Colorado Community College certification you're going to save it and then when you scroll and when the student actually scrolls down to certifications, there it is. It popped up. LMS technology map. Does that make sense for everyone on how we actually, the students actually have to be a little bit more active in actually not only accepting it, 
but saving it. They can save it to Credly or they can actually export it from Credly into a Mozilla backpack as well.